Hello, friends, and welcome to Lift Your Spirits. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Spooky Eyeball, I want to meet you, Spooky Eyeball. I want to meet you, I want to see you, and I want you to see me alone on a Friday night, and I'm spending it here. Hmm, seems about familiar to me. My fingers were sluggish as they typed out the last bit of conclusion needed to finish off my paper. Oh, my paper. Oh, I think, oh yeah, if I remember correctly, I think the premise of this is that we are finishing up school, like the semester, like finals or something. I didn't even bother spell checking the rest, my hand dragging the cursor across to close the document. Actually, a lot of Word documents now just spell check for you as you go. All right, time to submit it. I typed out my regards to Mr. Holtman. Kindly find the attached file of assignment. Your student, Mo. <laughs> Stifling a yawn, I turned on my phone to check the time. 2.53 a.m. The universal experience of losing sleep and gaining eye bags as a college student came to grace me in its hold once again, it seems. I actually don't suffer eye bags, really. I don't really get the eye bag situation. If you rub your eyes a lot, that increases the likelihood you get eye bags, and I don't really, I guess, get them. It's weird. At least it's the weekend. Turning off the computer, it suddenly hit, hit me how quiet it was without my fingers tapping away at the keyboard eerie silence yeah i always have to have like music playing or something even if it's softly like just like like lo-fi beats or something everyone else had left the campus was open 24 7 but who else was dumb enough to push their luck in submitting their assignment this late that would be me a lot of the times i would have been there in the library with you although our library wasn't 24 7 i know you said your campus is 24 7 i don't know if you just snuck into a computer lab or something like that I considered myself lucky. Mr. Holtman gave me the extended deadline. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. You got an extended deadline and you're running late? Well, that's why there's nobody here. That's why. You're like, who would push it this late? You didn't push it late. You went beyond late. You went even further beyond. Still, there were also the rumors. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Disembodied voices echoing through empty rooms. <sighs> Spooky. Heavy footsteps shuffling down the halls. Those who were lucky claimed to see a black silhouette skulking around the vending machine at the end of the corridor staring at them. I wasn't the superstitious type, but I had to admit the eerie silence of being the only person here gave me the creeps. I was recalling all the gossip spread about the student body when a sound made me perk up. Hey, hang on a second. I think I'm not alone here. I glanced behind me over the monitors to see if someone had come in. I don't see anybody. Dot, dot, dot. Nobody. I ignored the goosebumps rising on my arms as I gathered up my items into my bag. Perhaps it's a janitor, you know, a custodian, if you will. Superstitious or no, I've done what I came here for. Time to go. I shambled, like, a, like, like the zombie that I am, to the elevators and tapped the button. It rumbled to life slowly, making its way up to my floor. Just a couple more minutes and I'm out of here, I assured myself. I don't know why, but I found myself constantly checking behind me. As if expecting someone there. Yet, it's always empty every time I look. I tapped the button some more. The hairs at the back of my neck stood as if I were being watched. I hear footsteps. I clenched my fists, ignoring how sweaty they felt in my pockets. My sweaty, sweaty palms! They stopped. The footsteps stopped. Should I turn around? Should I look behind me? Is there someone behind me? That's what I'm asking! That's what I said! Ding! I jumped! The doors slid open as I released the breath I didn't realize I was holding. I didn't even consider looking back as I stepped inside, refusing to turn around until the doors closed. Are we on the 12th floor? Gibbity criminous? 
Or the 10th floor. I don't know. 10, 12, 57. I don't know. The chipper background music they played calmed me down somewhat. Okay. I'm almost in disbelief they were still playing it at this hour. I think it probably plays like automatically when the elevator is activated, maybe? Almost. I press the button for the ground floor, the elevator moving with a small jolt. With nothing to do but wait, I stared as the numbers slowly descended. The lull of the elevator was starting to make me sleepy. You know, besides the fact that it's literally three in the morning. I thought of the things I could do once I got home, just to distract myself for the rest of the ride. Things I could do? I hope they include going to bed. It's three in the morning. A shower, for sure. Microwave dinner, probably. Oh, no. The computer shouldn't be doing that. Oh, God. I blinked up at the flickering lights. I blinked up. I don't know how you blink up, but I blinked up at the... The elevator shuddered and came to an abrupt halt. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm not going to make a home to have my shower and microwave dinner. The music cut out. Nobody say anything. I tried the button for the ground floor. Then the rest. Unresponsive. Pushing the intercom button gave nothing but static. Hello? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Taking a moment to compose myself, I called out. I, uh, is anyone out there? I'm, I'm stuck in here. Hell? I started slamming the doors as panic took hold. There had to be someone out there. Not really. I mean, there didn't have to be someone out there. It's three in the morning. Help, please. I'm in here. I didn't stop for a good minute, getting more and more desperate as tears welled up in my eyes. <laughs> Actually, I mean, don't they, don't all the elevators have like, um, not like trap doors, but you know, like doors like in the ceiling so you can get out if something like this happened? I wouldn't want to do that, but like, I wouldn't be trapped forever, you know, like if it really came down to it. Like, I'd probably wait a little bit, see if power came back on. Maybe there was some sort of massive citywide surge or something, but then I'd be like, all right, two options. We sleep in the elevator or we leave the elevator. That That's what's going to happen. Why? Why now? Why me? I knocked my forehead against the door in a slump. Funk. <laughs> Ready to curl up and cry. This sucks. I was about to turn before I felt a chill run up my spine. The air felt heavy. Is this claustrophobia setting in? I'm actually not claustrophobic. I, 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 I do enjoy curling up into a tight space from time to time. I didn't think I had a fear of closed spaces. Less. Okay, now wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse me? There was a raspy moan from behind me? What? I turned my head and screamed! Across me was a growing blotch of darkness. An oozing mass that seemed to melt through the walls. Okay, now I would be losing it. Okay, now, now I would be officially concerned. I scrambled away, my back flat against the doors. Oh god, that's an arm. A hand emerged from the writhing form, grasping at the edges. Foul-smelling black ichor dropped from its fingers. Oh god! Another arm followed suit, clinging to the other side. I couldn't look away. I couldn't find my voice to scream. A face took shape. Oh god. A pair of hollow eyes and a manic grin with several teeth. Very round teeth, I might add. Like Pez dispensers. It seemed to smile directly at me. I blacked out. That's actually an inconvenient time to black out because then it has a chance to eat me. I would at least like to stay awake long enough to fight, you know? You know what I mean? I'm a fighter, not a not a Lover. I have no idea. Wake up! Hey! Hey! I heard a voice, panicked and flustered from above me. Oh! Well, hello there! You must be the disgusting ghost that came through the wall! 
a person was looming over me, visibly worried as I blinked back to consciousness. You're, you're alive. I, I couldn't really check for a pulse, so anyway, are you all right? What do you mean you couldn't check for a pulse? Do I not have one? Oh, that's right. I am a vampire. I, 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 I think so. I think I'm fine. Phew, I'm glad. I, I didn't mean to scare you back there. Oh, so you do admit that that was definitely you crawling out of a wall. Okay, seeing as you're not currently eating on my corpse, like my body when it hit the floor, you didn't eat me, uh, maybe you could teach me how to do that little fancy trick because I am currently stuck in here. Actually, the lights are on. Maybe we can leave. I realized I was still in the elevator, but now with a stranger twiddling their thumbs in front of me, conveniently standing between me and the door out. Could you, like, scooch to the side? I would like to go. It's, like, past three in the morning. I'm hungry and tired. They were taller than me. Ooh, you're tall. Oh, you're tall. I'm not exactly short, you know. I'm looming a few good inches past my, a few good inches past my head. You're like 6'3". You're tall. Their limbs looked even more awkward in the baggy sweater they had. Okay, all right. Maybe it's because she's made out of like the bones of the deceased. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they forgot to wash away their makeup or if they just haven't slept for three days straight. I'm going to go for that one. Might be longer than three days. Possibly both. I realized they were staring at me as well. Their eyes focused on me a little too long, as if they'd forgotten how to blink. Um, so, uh... I suddenly remembered the last thing I saw. That creepy shadow from the walls. But before you were here, there was, uh... There was something crawling out of the walls. I, uh, I know it sounds uh, insane, but I, I swear, it looked straight out of a horror movie. The stranger looked nervous. Was it you? I think it was you. Crap, they think I'm nuts. No, 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 I, I don't, I don't think that's it. I think they know who it is, and it's them. Don't look at me like that. No, no, I, I believe you for sure. You saw it too? Well, sort of. Um, I, I'm sorry. I was really trying to be sneaky. That must have been uncomfortable to watch, huh? I come again. What are you saying? Well, I heard you yelling for help, and I couldn't just leave you alone, so I did the next best thing I could. Oh, she, she, was, she was trying to help me, not eat me. Oh, where are my manners? Uh, are you saying that that was you? Uh, yes, in a way. Th there's really no easy way to say this. I'm not alive. Not the way you are. Did they mean... You mean like a ghost? The stranger lit up appreciatively. Basically, you must have heard the rumors, right? Well, it's me, in the flesh. Well, sans the flesh. That's not to be confused with Sans the Skeleton. Sans means without, without flesh. So, uh, actually, like, you know, like, if, if you say, like, you know, I want a lettuce salad without the lettuce, you'd be like, lettuce salad. Sans the, fl the, the lettuce. I almost said Sans the flesh <laughs> again. I want a lettuce, a lettuce salad. No flesh, please. Thank you. Uh, I could believe them or stick my hand through them. That would be rude. That would be so incredibly rude. I'm just going to believe them. I... I feel like this isn't the worst situation to be meeting a ghost for the first time. Like, it... You seem friendly enough. The stranger gave a sigh of relief. Oh, thank you for trusting me. Yeah, like, I feel like if I shoved my hand through you, I mean, like, it's a little inappropriate. It's a little rude. In fact, and, and, and I don't know. If I did that, you might turn into a demon or something and, and get angry. So I don't want to do that. Um, I'd ask for your name, but... But, but I already know that it's Mo. How did you know my name? I've been watching you for a while. Oh, good. I've always wanted a supernatural stalker. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me? Tonight. I I've been watching for a while tonight. It's not safe to be alone this late. <laughs> it's okay. If you've been watching the other nights, too, it it's, it's, it's fine. Really, truly, I don't mind. I would know... Before I could ask any further, they straightened. 
Anyways, I stuck around to see you write your paper. I don't necessarily agree with your hypothesis, but interesting nevertheless. Now hang on a second, don't critique my work. Well, you know what? I spent all night working on it. At this rate, it's done. What's done is done. Thanks, I think. Uh, nobody asks for your opinion. No, 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 it's okay. Look, you know what? She has guts. She didn't She didn't have to be honest with us. She could have been like, oh, it's so, you know, your paper, it was great. No, she's being honest. I appreciate honesty. They gave me a shy smile. N no problem. I didn't know this was a dating simulator. I did. <laughs> this wasn't the way I expected my night to go, but I guess the sooner I accepted it, the better. I should probably ask for their name instead of calling them stranger. Actually, I haven't called them anything. I've just been using a lot of they, which they might prefer. I don't know. You know my name, but what about yours? Oh. They looked away, fingers picking at their sleeve. I don't remember. I know who I was and what I did when I was alive, but not my name. Strange, isn't it? Have you ever thought about picking one for yourself? Their eyes widened as if the thought had never occurred to them. I never needed a name, but if I were to have one, I've always liked the way Alma sounds. Alma. All right, sure. Why not? It's perfect. Who what kind of rude jerk would I be to say that sounds stupid? Their eyes widened. Thank you, Mo. Alma went back to twiddling their fingers. We stood in silence for a while, gauging on what to say next. I kept glancing back at their hands, wondering if they'd feel as solid as they looked. Oh, I want to hold her hand. Ooh. They knew I was staring, but didn't seem to mind, waiting patiently in front of me. I like to imagine that when I blacked out, I hit my head so hard that this is all just a dream. This is all just a dream, and I'm having a pleasant dream about a pleasant ghost that I've met. And then when I wake up, I'm going to be getting eaten by a strange SCP monster. That's what's going to happen. My thoughts were running wild from sleep deprivation and shock to actually form words past our introductions, to be honest. They started humming softly, <laughs> as if to fill the silence. Awkward. That's when it hit me. For a ghost, they could easily be a student just like me. I have to ask, how did you, um, you know, kick the bucket? Alma had a knowing look in her in their eyes. Oh man, it's honestly kind of embarrassing. Well, I mean, I must insist. <laughs> Despite having no blood flowing through their veins, their cheeks seemed to darken. Look, I'm not trying to pressure you. I mean, it's just, um, well, we got to talk about something. We we don't have to get into it. But I really want to know, please? I... They hesitated before nodding. Promise you won't make fun of me? Of course not. I didn't make fun of your name. I'm not going to make fun of the way you died. Promise. Okay. So, I was staying late working on an assignment, just like you. Oh boy. Did a ghost come out of a wall and scare you to death? <laughs> no one was around. Even back then, I was known as a loner most of the time. It didn't bother me. While I was working, I got thirsty. No big deal. So I headed over to the vending machine for a drink. Oh my god, did the vending machine fall over and kill you? It, it's, it's like something like seven people or something like that die every year to vending machines falling on them. I don't remember. Hey, Google. How many people die per year to vending machines? This is a thing, everybody. This is a thing. Two. On average, it's two vending machine deaths per year. Since 1978, there have been 37 deaths and 113 injuries to vending machines. This is a thing. It's a real thing. They paused, hands shaking. They clasped at their wrist and twisted before continuing. J just a soda. Not too much to ask, right? I paid for the damn thing, but somehow my hand got stuck in the dispenser. So I pulled and pulled and, well... They struggled a bit before I waved for them to continue. Go on. 
It fell. I felt my whole body being crushed under the weight. I couldn't even cry out for help. And the whole time my hand was still stuck on that thing. Not that I could even tell. I think my wrist was beyond saving at that point. They sunk into themselves. I died trying to get some cheap soda. How pathetic is that? It's not pathetic, but it is sad. It's tragic. Like, you had to either be yanking on that vending machine, like, really hard to, like, get the thing to topple over, or it wasn't, like, installed properly or something. It's not. I'm sorry that happened to you. I, uh, yeah. Kind of sounded like you deserved it. Who deserves that? <laughs> what maniac thinks you deserve a vending machine to fall on you? No, I'm sorry that happened to you. I put my hand over theirs. Like, just, like, just, like, like, hovering? Just, like, just, like, hover, like, just, what, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> it passed right through. Oh, okay. Giving an ice-cold chill at my fingertips, but Alma seemed to appreciate it, never, nevertheless. They looked up at me, their nervous hands finally coming to a stop. I I've never told anyone about it before. I, I didn't think it would feel this free. Thank you. You, you, you know, I, I think you're a really great person. Oh. Oh, you. Thanks. I want to help you get out of here. Oh, am I actually still stuck? The lights came on. Maybe the door will just open. I tilted my head. How are you going to do that? I, I can try some things. Uh, that is, if you trust me. I really... <laughs> I really have no other option. <laughs> I, I really, truly do not. Okay. They clapped their hands excitedly. The music got creepy. But you have my complete and utter trust, ghost gal. Okay, here you go. You might want you might want to hold on to something. I'll hold on to one of these like hand railings. Are you gonna possess the elevator? Oh god, are you gonna possess me? I don't know what that's going to do. Before I could ask further, the elevator began to drop. Who got? My heart plunged into my throat. P plunged into my throat? Oh. Okay. As the, my weight shifted upwards. Alma? Hang on. Let me focus. The buttons for each floor flashed beside me. I closed my eyes shut and decided to trust them. I can't read if my eyes are closed. It felt like a roller coaster heading straight to the ground. The air whizzed around me. I grit my teeth and clenched my hands, knuckles probably white if I bothered to look. And just like that, it stopped. I yelped as the elevator jolted. I landed on my butt with a smack. I blinked my eyes open to see Alma clapping excitedly. <laughs> They looked over to see me on the floor and gestured towards the doors. They creaked open as if manually pulled apart by an unseen force. My jaw dropped as I realized they really did bring me to the ground floor. You really did it! I did, I did, I never got to do that before! I'm glad it worked. I couldn't believe my eyes! I stood and threw my arms around Alma and... Probably fell over only to completely pass through them. They yelped and backed away to the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't freak you out. Give a signal before you do that. I don't appreciate feeling hands inside of me, it's gross. Yeah, see, that's what I was trying to say. It would be rude and inappropriate to go around grabbing at ghosts. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I gathered myself and stepped to the doors, Alma following suit. Sure enough, the lobby was empty. The clock on the wall indicating it was close to 4 a.m. now. We spent an hour in the elevator. Good God. Well, I guess this is it. I turned to see them trying hard not to reach for their hands, uh, fingers twitching to intertwine with one another. It all happened so fast. It sunk in that now I could leave and go home right now if I wanted to. Alma, thank you. I appreciate it. They nod understandingly. I stood there for a moment as they looked at me before averting their eyes. They were waiting for me to leave. I grasped at my phone inside my pocket, mustering the courage to ask what I was about to ask. Am I about to ask for her phone number? She's a ghost. I don't think she has a phone. A phone? A phone. Would you 
ever want to, you know, hang out again sometime? They did a double take. Uh huh? W would you want to hang? Yes! I didn't even finish my sentence. But w why would you want to? Why wouldn't I? I like you. You're cool. You're a ghost. That's kind of neat. And uh, I imagine you don't get the chance to talk to people very often. You know? Once again, their cheeks darkened despite being them. Whatever that means. <laughs> I, I like you too. Oh, like that. I mean, we haven't gotten to know each other like, like that yet. But I think you're cool so far. You've been very helpful. Y yeah, I I'd love to hang out again. Great! Preferably when I'm, you know, not stuck and helpless in an elevator. My heart skipped a beat as they laughed lightly. <laughs> Preferably, of course. I'll see you next week? Yes, uh, don't, don't worry about a time or place. I can always find you wherever you are in the building. Cool. Like I said, I always wanted a cool ghost stalker. Kind of un unsettling, but okay. Stay safe, Mo. I waved and headed towards the entrance, pulling my phone out to call for a driver from one of my apps and immediately got hit by a bus and died. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> if that's how this ended? When I turned to look back, Alma was already gone. Good end to Friends for Life or more. Look at that. Oh, man. I was I was almost expecting like a, a graphic or something. That was ending number two. There are four endings to this game. I got the pleasant one. Um, <laughs> I've got this is about all the time I have to actually record for today. If you guys want to see the other endings uh, from me, let me know in the comments down below. But if you just rather play for yourself and find the endings for yourself, there is a link in the description below where you can get this game for yourself. But in the meantime, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do all the things. And until next time, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and wash your hands. Bye!